Hello guys, welcome back. This is probably like my third get ready with me, but honestly with all the stuff that's going on, it's like, you know, I can't really go nowhere or do any type of errands. But I mean, a lot of people were asking me when I'm gonna do another video, pregnancy update. Um, since I am on my last trimester, you guys, I am 33 weeks and 5 days. I turn 34 weeks tomorrow. And I'm scared. But yeah, guys, I'll be letting you guys know how my third trimester is going. What's going to happen. Am I going to have a baby shower or not? And I'll be getting ready with you guys. So if you want to see that, then keep on watching this video. To start off, I'll be starting with this primer. Right here. It is really good if you have dry skin. Um, but if you're oily, I don't recommend it. <laughs> so, guys, um, I have what almost six weeks left until I'm due. Oh my god, that actually sounds scary. <laughs> yes, I am scared because labor for me on my first pregnancy, you guys know it was bad. <laughs> It was so bad. I went through so much. So, also don't mind my nails. I tried taking them off and I just couldn't. And I'm planning on getting a new. Um, I'm getting them done till the end of this month because I want to let them grow out. <laughs> They're like so bad. Like, mm -mm. like my nail got so thin. You know. Okay, but going back to what I hate when I do this. Um, so I'll be using this uh, foundation. I love this foundation so much. I am the shade six. Sometimes I want to try 5.5. I don't know why I haven't. Because it does get darker. So, but yes, I have glue for this foundation. I've been wearing it for like oh years. Yeah, it is scary. Scary. It is getting more real that hey i'm about to have another baby like it is getting real you guys guys i'm getting nauseous a lot just like if it's my first trimester i'm dizzy all the time and it's just bad like i'm always so lazy i've gotten so lazy you guys um I barely get ready if you follow me on Instagram you know I haven't posted a picture in like two weeks because I'm always lazy I really don't get ready whatsoever and it sucks because that's not me you know I'm supposed to enjoy my pregnancy make memories with my pregnancy at least that's what I did with my first um, with my daughter I was always so active I would get ready even I think three days before I gave birth like well before my contractions I all glammed up and stuff and now it's like fuck I don't want to get ready I don't want to know about makeup you know and this is my job well this is part of my job before um, besides freelancing but yes, I've definitely gotten lazy this pregnancy or oh, well, this last trimester. Um, I barely eat, but I'm always hungry. But I barely eat <laughs> because of the same reason that I get nauseous. Like when I'm done eating as well, I get really nauseous. I get nauseous with food that I even love. You know, like when you love something. Even after I'm done eating something that I love, I still feel nauseous. So it's been pretty bad. Like, I don't know. And you guys, I'm so scared. But when was it? A week, a week ago, I went to my... Um, doctor and I had my... I had my 33 weeks sonogram. And... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Hopefully, it's nothing bad. He said it was nothing bad, but you know. So, they told me that my little baby has a big head. <laughs> that 
He has to, he's measuring four weeks ahead. Four weeks. Not two, four weeks. That's why I'm kind of scared because what the hell. That his head is measuring four weeks ahead, but um, that there's no fluid in his brain or it doesn't look like, you know, nothing is making it grow like for it to be that big, I guess. Um, but I do have another sonogram coming up. I think the 24. But you know, it's scary. Like, I was crying that night. Like, after my... And I told everyone, my mom, my son. I'm like, yeah, they told me that. But then again, you know, my daughter has a big head. I had a big head when I was younger. Like, you could tell, you know. And my dad's family also has a big head. And I don't know. But it was just scary because he... Like, my appointment, it's with one of the best sonograms doctor that they have there so it's like whoa is this something serious should i be worried but he did tell me you know don't worry like there's nothing showing that something is wrong or that something's making his head grow maybe he's just a big head baby <laughs> but i was crying that night i was like like you know like you really don't want nothing bad to happen to your baby like Oh no, and I was so excited because I'm like, oh my god, I might see my baby again. I really been wanting to go get a 4D sonogram, but with all the stuff going on, I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what what happened a week ago. I was really sad. I was I was depressed. I even cried and I was praying, and you know, just all in God's hand. That's all I'm gonna say. Maybe it's just his head is big. Like, come on now. His dad has a big head too. Um, but hopefully the doctors, you know, don't give me no bad news. Hopefully everything is okay. Mm. It's, you know, scary thing that has, um, that they've told me in this pregnancy has been that. Um, other than that, I mean, everything's normal, you know, um, regular symptoms that a pregnant um, person will get, but yeah, that's the only scary thing that they told me, and that I'm really worried about, because imagine, what if they want to do a c-section of me because he said it too big or you know like it's just so much shit that happens and goes through my head that it makes me scared but i try to stay you know think positive don't think negative but it is scary <laughs> not gonna lie i am scared but god is good you guys you know I feel like if you pray and you just trust in him, like everything will be okay. But that's pretty much it about my pregnancy and the updates that I've gotten. Other than that, everything seems good. Um, they told me he's five pounds already. Honestly, I feel like I hope so. He's a big baby. My mom tells me you probably are the type to have big babies. My daughter was 9.8, 9.5, 9.8. She was a big baby. <laughs> so maybe this baby's gonna be big. <laughs> okay guys, so pretty much I just baked. I put some blush on my favorite bronzer, which is the Hula bronzer. If you don't own these, you need to. You're gonna fall in love, you're gonna love it. It's just perfect. <laughs> I'm so happy because y'all girl was finally part of the benefit pink benefit club so um now i'll be doing my eyes i really don't do this step but I'm, i i don't know why recently i've been doing my face first and then my eyes but i'll be going in with this turkey palette i'm using the orange shade that it has right there but yeah guys like i was saying i felt like my pregnancy like i feel like the end right now has just been so hard so stressful but i've been really trying not to stress so much because you know whatever i feel the baby feels it, you know it's just not good i feel like it's been it's been crazy now um am i gonna have a baby shower like 
I don't even know yet. I don't I don't know honestly. I'm pretty, you know. Scared. Everyone's telling me maybe you should just do a welcoming party, la bienvenida, but it's not the same, you know? Like I feel like, like with my daughter's baby shower, I feel like oh my god, like all this attention is for me or you know. And I felt so good. I felt like, oh wow, you know, I felt love, I guess. Um, even though, you know, it was for her, but, you know. And then, I don't know, I just feel like it's not the same. Also, I feel like since I'm the one taking care of everything, you know, I feel like, how am I going to be? Like, what if I don't have, you know, the best um, recovery? Like, how am I going to do everything, you know? Because I'm the one who's taking care of everything. So, yeah, I feel like this is it's sad. I don't know. I feel like this is affecting everyone, big or small. Like, but it's affecting us. I honestly really hope that this is gone by the end of this month you know a lot of people keep saying like this is gonna disappear just like how it came it's gonna disappear that quick you know when we had that gas thing going on it just i don't know where it just we're back to normal sometimes i feel like this is just like a distraction that they wanna put but then i really you know we've seen those videos i mean i've seen some videos but honestly i try not to keep up too much because i i get scared you know so Right now, I mean, the plan still is, you know, I want to have it April 4th. That's the only day that really it's like works with everyone. Not, I was thinking April 11, but not really. Because that was my first option to do it April 11. But now it's like, hmm, I can't. Or I don't know. And then I had April 25th. Because the 18, I'm super busy. Even though I'm already getting cancellations for prom, because they got their prom canceled. Like, oh my god, like this. I feel like this is affecting everyone. I got a lot of. Um, I got two girls already canceled for prom for this coming Saturday too, which is two in two days. Like the clients that I had, they already canceled because they canceled their event. So I am letting my clients, you know, reschedule because I do require deposits when they book with me. But I'm letting them reschedule because, you no, know, this is nobody's fault. This is not my fault. This is not their fault that their event is getting canceled. So I am letting them reschedule just so um, they don't lose their, you know, their deposit. And yeah. Um, and also, you know. So when they need it, I'm available. If I'm available, you know, because for the month of May, I am not doing any makeups. So, yeah. This is getting like, I don't know. I feel like it's getting big. So that's that's for my baby shower. I'll be going in back with my um, Frankie, Frankie um, Rose Cosmetics concealer. Because I'm trying to find the lightest shade. Let's go do this. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll just be cutting my crease. And I'll be adding a pink tone that I have here. I don't know if I should add pink or gold. Man, there's, I mean, you know, I feel like for us, pregnant girls that we're barely gonna have our baby shower i feel like it really sucks because we cannot keep our baby in you know like our baby's gonna come when he's gonna come and it's like i have to do it you know now not wait so it really sucks but i feel like it sucks for everyone you know regardless so i added um this like What's it called? I think it's called West Star. It's this one right here. It's like a gold green. I guess I'll say um, color, shimmer, and it looks so pretty on the eyes. I hope the camera is picking it up because it's really pretty. And now, a lot of people don't know this, but I guess I'll teach you. For you to get that well blended effect, 
what you want to do is go back with the same color the first color you started with just blend in the middle like put it like right there in the middle and start just blending it you know like and 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 now i'm gonna go back with the brown as well and just tap 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 in there And look guys, that's how it's looking. I, I hope you guys can see it. You know. And now I'll be adding eyeliner. Okay guys, so I just finished my eyes. This is how they look. I decided to add um the white eyeliner. But I honestly don't like it because the NYX white liner breaks. And that's what a lot happens a lot. So that's why I really don't use it, but I do love how it gives you the effect of a perfect um, cut crease. So, yeah. But right now, I'm going to do my lips. I'll be using this to underline my lips. And then I have package right here, you guys, that I'm going to show y'all. Because why not, right? And a bag. I'm really excited to talk about this bag because it's just so pretty. And so like, ooh, you know? <laughs> so let me do my lips. This is how my makeup looks. Uh, like I told you guys, I have package and I want to share it with you guys and show you guys. So my first package is from The Fashion Edit. I'm going to put her Instagram right here. She sent me three items. No, there's no card. You guys. Okay. But the first item she sent me is, oh my God, is this new dress right here. I got this new dress right here. It is long and I love it because dresses right now are honestly my best friend. And this is a really good material because it's not too thick but not too thin. So, you know, it's like perfect for this weather. Especially now, this weather is getting nicer. Just the rain gotta go, but the weather I feel like it's nice. And then she sent me this like white pearl, I guess you'll say. Oh, this is cute. Lastly, she sent me this dress. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, this one's beautiful. Look at this. And I love the material. This material, it's to live for. This material fits everything, you know? And it's so comfortable. Oh my God, I love it. Never mind, I think I'll, I'll take this one to the Texas Tulip. It's so cute. But yes, you guys, you yes, should definitely check her out. I do have a discount code with her, so I'll put it right here. So you guys can save extra money and also support small businesses. But this one, it's cute. Oh, I recommend this one for sure, for sure. Y'all need to buy it now. Cannot wait to put it on. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I got from the Fashion Edit. This next item, I am so excited and so happy, like... Right now, I've gotten into bags, especially because I only carry like Italy. When we go somewhere, I'll just put her diaper, like two or three diapers, a set of clothes, and um, some wipes, and I'm good to go. So I've been into bags recently, and today I got, um, I received this bag. It's from Teddy Blake, New York. I'll be putting their Instagram right here. So they are made in Italia. Italia, what the hell? I really say Italia. Yeah, um, they are made in Italy. Um, this is a designer bag, you guys. I feel like, ooh. But it comes in this bag. I love the box. Like, I'm keeping the box because it's white and black, and that's just gonna go with my home room. Um, aesthetic. So they have design designer handbags. They are made in Italy. And if you guys know, my daughter's name is Italy. <laughs> we just changed the Y to IE. And mm, look at these, you guys. So here is how this bag looks. This is the one I got. The one that I got, it's called. Oh, uh, I put the name right here. They do have their own names. Hold up, right? <laughs> but yeah, this is the one I got. It is so cute. I love this. And the leather, you guys. It's luxury, okay? Luxury leather. <laughs> oh, and it also comes with these, which I haven't put on yet. 
but I feel like I'll like it better, you know, in my hands than carrying it. But I'll show you guys. Oh, okay, she's cute like this too, but I feel like I like it better like this, you know, like okay. <laughs> But yeah, you guys, I love this so much, especially because it's really spacious. It feels so pretty, so it's going to go already in my collection of bags. Like I said, I'm starting to get into bags. I wasn't really a bag person, but everyone changes. <laughs> but yes, you guys, you definitely should check them out. I'll be leaving their Instagram. And right now, you guys, they're having up to 70% off on their bags, so... Yeah, check it out. Check it out. Yeah, you guys, this is my bag. And yeah, guys, um, I hope you guys like this video. I know it was a sit down, get ready with me, you know. But I hope you guys still enjoyed. And yeah, that's pretty much how my pregnancy is going. And that's pretty much what's going on in my life. I hope everyone stays safe. Make sure not to go out as much, you know. Let's try to go with what they recommend in us, but still, you know, be cautious, think of others, and all that stuff. But yeah, guys, stay safe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.